Hello, Mary Mead. So, um, I haven't been able to make any videos for a while, and the reason for that is that my computer quite literally came apart in my lap. I was typing out a post on Facebook, and suddenly it split down the middle and spilled a lot of little computer guts all over my ties. My husband used duct tape and got it all back together again, and it worked fine for about five minutes. Then it sort of caught fire, so the computer was sort of dead. So yeah, I hope we have been complaining at that at the store because it was only a year old. In any way, I got another computer, and I decided to test out the camera on it. I uh, have been visiting my mom, and I'm not coming home to Bergen before, oh, Monday? But since she is at the store, I thought I would use that time and record a video. And today's topic is about, uh, basically, whether or not uh, Wiccans push their views on other pagans. This came up in a conversation online yesterday, and I thought I would make a video about it. Now, for me personally, I haven't had this problem a lot. Uh, when I was a lot active on oh, occult forums, there was a bit of that. It was a lot of teenage witches who had read the Silver Raven Wolf until it came out of their ears. And yeah, they sort of. I remember there was this 14 year old high priestess who uh, was lecturing everybody. But yeah. Most people that I would consider to be uh, real Wiccans really don't push their views on anyone, but there are a lot of people that aren't really that experienced who have the same attitudes as a lot of Christians have, as a lot of any religion have, that they feel that their way is the best way, is their only way, and they tend to berate anybody else. So, yeah. Now, I haven't experienced it a lot, but I know uh, quite a few people who are traditional witches. And by that I mean, for example, people who uh, practice uh, old folk magic, who practice um, more basically pre Wicca types of witchcraft. Because Wicca isn't the only kind of witchcraft out there, people. They get a lot of sick and tired of being told, oh, but you have to be aware of the threefold law. Yeah, but yes, the thing, Wiccans. That sort of an idea of your religion. Now, it's not that the concept of a sort of divine retribution, in a way, doesn't ask and have a place in other faiths, but that kind of very, very plain and simple concept that whatever you send out, you get back times three. It's it's a very simplified idea of several different spiritual concepts. And it's not something that, for example, a traditional witch will believe in. So, yeah. And, yeah, there have been some people who call themselves Wiccan who have a tendency to berate others for not having the same ideas that they have. For example, Wiccans have an idea that I should never harm anyone. Now, it varies from Wiccan to Wiccan how far that harming nobody goes. Some go to the point that, no, you should never do a spell to earn money for yourself. For example, because when you earn money, you take money that could have gone to somebody else who could possibly need it more than you, so only if it's some sort of immediate emergency, like a family member needs to go to the hospital and you are in a nation that doesn't cover that. But even then, yeah, it goes. And some that said that you always need to do a lot of divinations before every magical working, just in case there could be somebody that could be potentially harmed by it. Um, some even advocate against uh, self-defense. 
ate a nut. It has left the flowers all over my teeth. Anyway. And so you have those types that are completely obsessed by the idea that they should never, ever have any negative consequence for anybody else, whatever they do. Uh, and then you have others that basically have the do no harm but take no shit that basically says, yeah, sure, you can do self-defense. Uh, sure, you can defend yourself, but you shouldn't actively seek to do harm to anyone. And you have any, any lots of variations on how the concept of doing no harm is interpreted. And a lot of more traditional uh, pagan paths don't have that. They don't have that idea that you have to be uh, uh, that that you can't do any harm. There's a lot of traditional paths that have curses that have all of these things, and that bothers Vikings and it bothers them a lot. And there are some Vikings that feel that they have the single the right to the word witch. And anybody else who might decide to use that term is sort of squandering their good name and reputation. Now, I of course don't believe in that since I don't really consider myself Wiccan. I consider myself Wiccanish because the path of paganism I am walking is very much based on Wicca. But there are a few things like, for example, the threefold law that I don't prescribe to. However, is this a real huge problem? No, I wouldn't say so. But then again, it might be me being lucky, but I also think that a lot of people have very thin skin. And a lot of people uh, have one negative experience and translate that into, no, no, all Wiccans are preachy. Because really, most people I know who are Wiccans are very tolerant, very nice, very kind individuals who doesn't preach, who live their path in peace and let others have theirs. But of course there are there are uh, people that us that, that can't let well enough alone and feel that they have a right to complain about everybody else's business. Generally speaking, the ones that do this, it's not those that have a lot of experience in Wicca. It tends to be the so sort of shallow, overly positive, what we would normally call fluffy bunnies, that goes, oh no, you could, uh, you shouldn't practice this because then the default law will get ya, ha ha. Those kind of individuals, yeah, sure, they're out there, but generally speaking, they're not the most knowledgeable, and it's better to just ignore them. People that are real experienced Wiccans don't tend to do that. Of course, they might have their opinions. They might have their opinions that the curses of, uh, that you can find in an old grimoire will lead to some sort of spiritual um, punishment, and it's their right to believe so. I don't have a problem with somebody believing so and even expressing that I believe so. What I have a problem with is if somebody then take that belief and try to show it onto me. And for example, what I think is okay behavior is to say, oh, one can be discussing um, an old, one of those old black books that the uh, old cunning women used. And I could say, no, I don't want to read those kinds of books because you will find curses in them. Um, I feel that that's wrong according to my path. That's perfectly okay to say. It's also perfectly okay to say, oh, but I, I don't want to do that because I believe that practicing that kind of magic will uh, reflect back to me three times. Perfectly okay to say. What's not okay is that when somebody's discussing this, then uh, breaking in and saying, Oh, you're not real witches. No real witch would ever do anything harmful. And if you try, then you will have it back three times. Ha ha. It's only me that's a real witch. 
that's irritating. And that kind of condescending attitudes is what I'm talking about. That's the problem. Somebody saying that what they believe, that isn't an issue. But, yeah. Uh, so, for me, this really hasn't been a problem. This, I meet those kinds of fluffies very, rel very, uh, very seldomly. And uh, most weekends I know are very kind and understanding. And, yeah, they live their path, I live mine, everybody's happy. However, what I have found in some weekends are a certain degree of arrogance. And I know, of course, this isn't all weekends. By all means, I do not like to generalize. And definitely not all weekends. But there are some, especially those that are traditional weekends. And by that, I mean Gerardians and Alexandrians. There are quite a few of those that tend to feel that I know it all and that they are somehow better than everybody else because they happen to have an initiatory line back to Garrett Gardner. Now again, I think that's something you, you should be proud of. You have an uh, unbroken initiatory line uh, that of course I've revealed to you quite a lot of secrets that you might not find in all of these glorious books and so on and so forth. The problem is that uh, quite a few of them uh, have a tendency to be like this. Oh, uh, well, we decide who we will train and we decide you just not worthy, and what you're doing just doesn't hold a candle to us. That sort of that that's just arrogance. That has nothing to do with basically being a wicked. I, I don't think Gerald Gardner would like that kind of things. And again, I don't say this is all traditional witches by all means, but I have met quite a few of those that went ahead and solitary and doesn't really follow Wicca but have a Wiccan inspiration for my path, they get very snot -litty. But, yeah, even those, they're not that many of them. Most Wiccans are quite understanding. They're great people. So, yeah, I would say this isn't really a big issue within the occult community. But then again, it could be that I don't like to sit and say to people, you have experienced this sort of community and this sort of um, social problem uh, and I don't believe you or I don't acknowledge your experiences because their experiences might be different than mine. It's the same as I have been playing computer games for most of my life and I can't say that I really experienced any discrimination based on me being a woman. And the same with the uh, role-playing games, it's also a very male-dominated hobby. And I haven't really experienced any discrimination based on me being a woman, but I do have female friends who play who have. And I can sit and say, no, no, you have, you, this, your experiences aren't valid because they don't conform to mine. So I don't want to sit there and say that, no, no, this problem doesn't exist. But I can say that from my point of view and from what I have experienced, there's not a lot of Wiccans that will go on and try to push their views and their ideas on others. And those that do that tend to be the less educated ones that you can either ignore or you can try to educate them a bit. So, yeah. and. Then, of course, when I were discussing the threefold law in any way, someone is going to ask, but why don't you believe in that? Well, it really has to do with, first of all, observing the world around. You see horrible people who live happy lives, uh, have wonderful families, wealth, have all of these things, live to become quite old and die happy in bed, their family around them. And you have real good people who sacrifice for others, who are just awesome to others in every single way, who live in poverty, are tormented by illness and loss, and die young. 
Of course, somebody would then say, yeah, but these people that are horrible, they clearly they will be tortured in their next lives. Yeah, but for me, that doesn't work because I think that the idea that unless then a lot of memories follow, so it's the same person, that just means that the universe itself is a cruel bitch. If basically, let's say I do something horrible, I go and kick grandmothers downstairs, and then eventually I get reincarnated and some sort of person that's a very nice, kind person that helps others and do everything right, then gets punished for what I did. It doesn't work like that. Uh, at least if I'm going to have any faith in any higher power as being in any way, shape or form good, it doesn't work like that. Now, what I do believe is that if we ignore all the lessons that the universe gives us, so that we have, believe we have free will, so that if we are assholes to everybody, we might have to live our lives again and again and again until we get those lessons. And I definitely believe there are spiritual consequences to our actions. But something as simplified as a threefold law, no, I don't believe in that. That doesn't mean I devaluate it as a religious belief, if you believe. But for me, that seems more to me something that Gardner and his contemporaries put into the religion to prevent people going ballistic with magic than something that is, for me, works as a valid spiritual belief for me. Not for you, but for me. So yeah. That are my two cents on that topic. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day and blessed be.